Number 2, this figure over here shows a 3 particle system with masses m1 equals to 3 kilograms, m2 equals to 4 kilograms, and m3 equals to 8 kilograms. The scales on the axis are set by xs equals to 2 meters and ys equals to 2 meters as well. What are letter A, the x coordinate, and letter B, the y coordinate of the system's center of mass? Let us see if M3 is gradually increased, does the center of mass of the system shift toward or away from that particle, or does it remain stationary? So to make it easier to see what's happening here, let me paint the particle. So particle 1 is going to be this red particle, particle 2 is going to be the blue particle, and particle 3 is going to be the green particle. So if we want to find the position in the x coordinate of the center of mass, all we have to do is use this equation over here 1 over the sum of the masses times the sum of i equals to 1 until n of the masses times their position in the x coordinate. So, as you can see here, in order to use this equation over here, you have to know the position of the particles in their x the x coordinates of the position of the particles. So I'm going to write the position of the particles for both the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So for example, this red particle over here is is in the origin of coordinate system, is in the origin of our coordinate system, so it's zero zero. The blue particle it's two in the x direction and one in the y direction. So 2 and 1. And the green particle, it's 1 in the x direction and 2 in the y direction, so 1 and 2. Okay, now we can apply this equation over here to find the answer of letter A. So let's just use this equation. So this is the sum of the masses. The mass of the red particle is equal to 3 kilograms. The mass of the second particle is equal to 4 kilograms, and the mass of the third particle is equal to 8 kilograms. Now we have to sum this part of the equation. So, the first, let's say particle number one is the red one, of course, it's M1. So, we need the mass of the first particle, which is 3, the position of the first particle in the x direction, which is 0. Okay, so that's it for the red particle. Now going to the blue particle, its mass is 4, its position in the x direction is 2, the mass of the green particle is 8, the position of the green particle in the x direction is 1. Okay, so we have 1 over 15 times this term is 0, this is 8. And this is 8 as well, so we have 16 over 15, which is roughly 1.1 meters. This is meters because the scales are in meters as well. You can see it right here. Okay, so this is the answer of letter A. For letter B, we have almost the same equation. So the center of mass of the y coordinate is 1 over the sum of the masses times the sum of the masses times their position in the y direction. So 1 over mass, we already know it is the same because the particles are the same. So it is 15. Now we have to multiply by the mass of the first particle, which is 3. Its position in the y coordinate is 0. For the blue particle, we have mass equals to 4, position the y coordinate equals to 1. For the green particle, we, ha we have its mass which is 8, and the position is 2. Okay, so moving forward, we, ha we have 1 over 15 times 4 plus 16, which is equal to 20 over 15 and this is roughly 
meters. And this is the answer of letter B. For letter C, if M3 is gradually increased, does the center of mass of the system shift toward or away from that part curve? Or does it remain stationary? Okay, so if we increase the mass of this particle over here, what happens? The center of mass moves towards the particle. This is a general answer. So this happens for every particle. If we increase the mass of particle number two, the center of mass moves towards this direction. For example, in, uh, in this exercise over here, we found that the x, the center of the mass in the x direction, the y direction is something like this, right? So if we increase mass number three, this point over here, the center of mass is going to move towards M3. If we increase M2, center of mass moves toward M2. If we increase M1, the center of mass moves towards M1. And that's a general solution. So that's the answer of letter C, it moves toward. And that's it.